All right, guys. So I went to Amazon and I just simply typed in lawnmower. And I looked through and I bought the absolute cheapest lawnmower that you can possibly buy on Amazon. And that is this bad boy right here. This is like a, I don't even know what you call it. It's like the type of lawnmower that probably Benjamin Franklin and George Washington were using back in the day. It's one of the real, real old ones. It's called, oh, it's called a real mower. I didn't even look at the box until just now. Push real mower. Is that because it's like real and not fake? It says it's ideal for small lawns. Lightweight, easy to use, easy to maintain. What else does it say on here? Anything interesting? Oh, toolless assembly. So we shouldn't need any tools. So I'm kind of excited. I've never used anything like, anything like this in my life. It's kind of like we're going back to like, uh, I don't know, 1400s or something. I don't know what I was expecting, but for some reason it wasn't this. Okay. For this to be a blade, it doesn't seem very sharp. Okay. More of that. Instructions we don't need. Well, if this is all, it should be a very easy assembly. Oh, wait a minute. Is this how this works? I wonder what direction it goes. I've literally never seen anything like this in my life. Three wing nuts. Is that really all that holds this thing together? Two of this has to go like this, right? I think I'm missing something. Oh, I got this. I got this. It's got these two little clips. And these little clips go in here. You gotta do it one at a time, okay? Okay. Okay, this is gonna be a little different. I don't know why this like, just flops around like this. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. But that doesn't make any sense. I don't even think I said how much this lawnmower cost. It is the cheapest one on Amazon and it was only $65. That maybe explains why we're having all the problems we're having. This thing, these threads are a little rough. I mean, it is only 65 bucks, so I guess you can't expect too much. That actually seems kind of, mm, I'm not going to say solid, but not as horrible as I had originally thought. I mean, I think, I think we almost have a functioning mower here. Okay, never mind. We don't need grips. That's not an important part. Sharpen your blades in 10 minutes. I don't know if you can even see that. This is right here, sharpen your blades in 10 minutes. This is an advertisement for a sharpening kit. I thought it meant you're supposed to sharpen the blades every 10 minutes that you mow. How do we adjust, like, how tall we're mowing the grass? Okay, I guess we're, we'll just leave it where it is because why not? All right, let's go cut some grass. All right, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has sent me the Ultra Smooth Package. So let's open this up and see what's in here. You get a razor. That looks pretty nice. Ah. You get three razor refills. Ah. You get two more. So you get five refills. That is uh, quite a lot. And then you get a thing of crop exfoliator. You also get a thing of crop gel. That is actually a pretty nice package. They also sent me 
The Boxers 2.0. These things are super soft. They're very comfortable. These are also anti-chafing boxers. They also come in six different color combinations and I love them. They're super comfortable. If you are interested in the ultra smooth package or a set of boxers or anything else that Manscaped offers, there'll be a link in the description. You can use code tube at checkout and you'll get 20% off your order plus free international shipping. All right, first test with the real mower. I'm just gonna just go up and down this little strip here a couple times. The grass really isn't that tall, so it should just be taken off maybe just the top, which shouldn't be too hard. I also, I took the time to put the handles on. Uh, the secret was you just needed to spit on them. Believe it or not, let's start right here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Why is this not that bad? <laughs> What's going on here? Dare I say this is actually good? Why is this actually decent? It's kind of weird that it's not like mulch and it just kind of like takes the top off the grass. I'm, I'm literally speechless. I don't even know what to say. All right, let's get a close up of this. Look at that. Okay, well actually, now that I do kind of a closer inspection, there's a lot of grass that ends up getting missed, sort of. One of those where you gotta kind of go over it a couple times. That seemed to not be too, too bad. I mean, I'm still impressed with that. So let's see what happens in a situation where like you got, you know, some tree branches. Oh, I see a little stick over here. Maybe you got a little stick right here. Situations where a gas mower or even a, an electric mower would just mulch that up no problem. Let's see what happens. No, oh, it just goes over top of it. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Oh, so if you hit a stick, you're done for. Although it kind of just wants to go right up, right over top of sticks. All right, let's try some taller grass. All right, you can see we have some grass that is plenty tall. Let's just send it. Okay, I, I literally thought I thought it was gonna it would get clogged up within two seconds. Oh. Oh, maybe maybe. What if I build up speed? That's <laughs> that's not good. That misses like most of the grass. Maybe it's because it's like real tall and it's not standing up. Oh, you know what I think happens? I think I, I think I figured it out. So I think what happens with tall grass is that whenever the, whenever this whenever this wheel first rolls over top of it, it has to come in contact with this blade down here, and I think this kind of just pushes the grass over, and then this blade just runs over it rather than like cutting it. Which, I mean, it looks like you can do it if you go over it enough times. It 
You know, I can clearly see this stuff. You know, actually, not too bad. All right, so we kind of know that it cuts, you know, half decent grass, cuts, uh, actually cuts a long grass, kind of semi-decent. Um, I got the GoPro on for kind of like a, a POV view of what it looks like when you work this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and mow probably half of the backyard. And then after that, I'll just give you my final thoughts. So let's go. Oh, we got clogged up there for something. Oh, this right here's kind of long. Seems like, what even is that? Oh, okay, something as small as that can clog you up. That looks pretty good. To be honest. Uh, let me guess. Another stick. Another little stick. Okay. Another little stick. I'm not liking the little stick. The fact that we get stuck every time we hit a little stick. Wow, all right. So I guess this is like only for perfectly manicured lawns without any sticks or nothing. Wow, all right. Feels like the tiniest little things will just clog us up. Maybe that, maybe that's the ticket. That seemed to work pretty good. I think I've seen enough. So here's my final thoughts. I have mixed opinions. One, I am extremely impressed that you can, for $65, buy a lawnmower that works. Cause it, it absolutely works. It works pretty good. As long as you don't try to cut like really tall grass, which I don't think this is made for anyway. I think this is made to just kind of like I don't know, do like your weekly trimming or maybe like your twice a week uh, trimming. So I, I'm very impressed with that. It cuts the grass good, does what it's supposed to do, but I think that comes at a price. And that price is, it's really only for 
not not even like a perfectly manicured lawn, just like a lawn that doesn't have anything in the way that could possibly come between like this thing and uh, the blade. Because even like, as you saw, even just the tiniest little twig or maybe even like a, thi a thick like leaf or something can stop this thing dead in its tracks. So you're, so if you're mowing, every time you mow, you're, you're gonna get stuck. You gotta clear it out, go again, get stuck. Clear it out, go again. I think most people's lawns probably got like a tree or something in them and there's a chance to be like little sticks and stuff on the ground. I think that would be extremely annoying and is the reason that I would probably never use uh, a mower like this on a regular basis. But if you don't have any of that and you, you just have pure grass, I think this thing would be great. Especially for 65 bucks, if you have like a small yard, especially a 20th of an acre or something, like something just real small that you could probably blow through this in like 20 minutes and you don't have to buy no gas, oil, almost no maintenance probably. I imagine you probably have to sharpen these blades every now and then, but other than that, probably not much maintenance. I think this could be a great option, especially for 65 bucks. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.